Uh, welcome back. Movies are a big business and we all have our favorites. And just like the movies themselves, we all have favorite scenes that we can remember from those movies. But it might surprise you that some of the most popular scenes ever recorded on film were not in the original script. They were, in fact, accidents. <laughs> Here are 10 famous movie scenes that were total accidents. Number 10 is Alien Surprise. When Ridley Scott was filming the iconic scene in his 1979 horror hit Alien, in which the title creature's true method of reproduction is revealed, he wanted the shocked look on the actors' faces to be as genuine as possible. So he famously neglected to inform them that an alien was about to burst out of the chest of their friend and fellow actor John Hurt. Okay guys, this is gonna be a nice chill scene. When the actors arrived on set, all they could smell was fish guts and formaldehyde, and they found Hurt laying down on the table, probably holding back a giggle or two. In the film, when the creature bursts from the prosthetic chest and blood flies in every direction, the reaction on Sigourney Weaver and her fellow actors' faces is absolutely real, just shock and terror. And Veronica Cartwright even passed out after taking a line of fake blood to the face. Ha! Huh? Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Number 9 is Bond Leaves the Water. In the beginning of Daniel Craig's first outing as James Bond in Casino Royale, he finds himself in the Bahamas, attempting to get information from somebody. As Bond treads the water in the ocean, a beautiful woman, specifically the one he's looking for, rides by on a horse, drawing his attention. Director Martin Campbell's intent was to show the woman Solange, played by Katarina Marino, as the sexy one in the scene, while Bond stayed a mysterious, half-hidden figure. However, as Craig attempted to maneuver his way closer to the beach, the actor walked up on a sandbar, bringing his chiseled abdomen above the water and accidentally stealing the title of sexiest person in the scene. Though the opposite of what Campbell wanted occurred, it was enough to make the scene more intense and reveal the new bond with a bang. I like my women shaken, not stirred. Number eight is nervous loyalty. Nothing makes a person seem more powerful with special effects than having a person twice their size literally tremble in their presence. Francis Ford Coppola's 1972 film The Godfather, which has been labeled by many as one of the greatest films ever made, brought this notion to the forefront with the casting of the late Lenny Montana as loyal bodyguard Luca Brasi. Montana was both a professional wrestler and an enforcer for the mob, but when he was cast by Coppola due to his size, the idea of acting alongside the great Marlon Brando proved to be a bit too much for him and he stammered through his lines. However, the nervousness played off as if he was so intimidated by the power of the dawn that he was shaking with fear, so Coppola left the exchange in the film. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Also, this guy peed himself. Number 7 is Flag Flies. Peter Jackson is apparently a fan of adapting happy accidents into his films, and there are several examples in the Lord of the Rings trilogy alone of actor and prop errors that made the film even better. One such scene happens in the second film, The Two Towers, in which Eowyn storms out of a castle in the mighty city of Rohan after a verbal exchange with Wormtongue to see four of the film's heroes riding up over the hills. As she watches them, the riders of Rohan's flag next to her is torn from its pole and flies off to land outside the city walls, symbolizing the fall of the once proud kingdom. However, in reality, it was just an incredibly windy day on set and the flag literally tore loose on its own. But the moment seemed so powerful, Jackson left it in the film. Side note, after watching those movies, I ate so much bacon just because of the line, salted bark. It made me hungry. Number six is the sneeze. In case you didn't know, Woody Allen is a pretty quirky guy, and he enjoys writing the characters that he portrays in his own movies as quirky to make them seem realistic. But one of the most famous examples of that wasn't actually written that way. Released on April 20th, 1977, Annie Hall, 
featured a scene in which Alan's character Alvy and his co-star Diane Keaton's Annie attempt to try cocaine for the first time. However, upon sniffing the white powder, Alvy immediately sneezes into the container holding the drugs, sending a cloud up and covering everyone in a chalky substance. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, it's just it was there, it was right in front of my face. Well, it turns out that that humorous moment was actually the real thing, with Alan literally sneezing after trying to put the fake powder in his nose. Test audiences howled at the scene, so Alan kept it in the final cut of the film. Number five is Laughing Lineup. When it comes to Brian Singer's 1995 crime drama, The Usual Suspects, with the exception of the twist ending, few scenes are as memorable or legendary as the lineup, in which all characters meet in the story. The group is laughing at each other while trying to read a line that's been provided to them by police, so a witness can identify the right suspect. It comes off as silly and brings the group together a bit, however, it wasn't supposed to be that way. The original script called for a sarcastic, but quite serious tone for the scene. It was a happy accident that it didn't end up that way. Apparently, Benicio Del Toro was quite gassy that day and kept passing gas while on set. Okay everyone, serious set here, everyone be quiet. Oh god, it was hot. I'm sorry. His free-flowingness broke his fellow cast members several times, but also gave the group a camaraderie that played well on screen. Number four is The Bloody Hand. Some actors get so into their characters or particular scenes that the lines between who they're portraying and who they really are can be blurred. Such is the case with Leonardo DiCaprio's performance in Quentin Tarantino's 2012 western Django Unchained. In one incredible scene, DiCaprio's Calvin Candy flies into a raging monologue, confronting Jamie Foxx and Christopher Waltz characters for lying to him and smears a bloody hand over the face of Kerry Washington's character to portray his ownership of her. Incredibly, there was never meant to be any blood, but DiCaprio accidentally smashed a crystal glass in one of the takes, slicing his hand open. Oh, that was real blood? Oh, I don't, I don't like to see blood. Uh Barely reacting, he continued on with the scene and it stunned Tarantino to the point where he added the wound into the film. Number three is I'm Walking Here. Director John Schlesinger's 1969 drama Midnight Cowboy changed the world of cinema forever, especially in how movies are classified. But one iconic scene made the world look at Dustin Hoffman and the city of New York in a whole new light. Since the crew didn't have permits to shoot in the streets of New York City, they did so in secret. In this famous scene, main characters Ratso and Joe, played by Dustin Hoffman and John Voight respectively, are walking down the street talking when suddenly a cab swerves in, almost hitting Hoffman. Enraged, the actor slapped the front of the cab and yelled the legendary line, Hey, I'm walking here! The accent he used throughout the film slipping. It slipped because it was a real moment with a near real accident. Good thing he didn't actually get hit because that would have been a short film. Number two is Aragorn Feels Loss. In the second of the Lord of the Rings films, there's a scene that really made viewers appreciate the purity and talent between Viggo Mortensen's performance. After chasing after their kidnapped friends Merry and Pippin for days, Aragorn, played by Mortensen, and his party come across a burning pile of dead orcs killed by the raiders of Rohan. Among the pile is evidence that the pair of hobbits are among the dead. In a rush of emotion, Aragorn loses his composure, he kicks away one of the orc steel helmets screams at the sky and collapses to his knees. The thing is, that scream and collapse are not scripted. They are reactions to real pain. Mortensen broke two of his toes when he kicked the helmet and director Peter Jackson realized how amazing the performance looked, so he kept it in the film. Man, that is dedication to the scene, because if that was me and I was like, I would have been like, ah, everybody help, my mom knows, oh my foot. And number one is the hospital explosion. 
Oh, you'll see. When the chips are down, these civilized people will eat each other. When it comes to the best portrayals of comic book villains, nobody holds a candle to the late Heath Ledger and his take on the Joker in Christopher Nolan's 2008 Batman sequel, The Dark Knight. But surprisingly, one of the key scenes in which Ledger's Joker made the audience both fear him and laugh was when he attempted to blow up Gotham General Hospital and almost failed. In the scene, the Joker walks away from the building as explosions go off all around him, but they abruptly stop. Embracing his role, Ledger turned, faced the failed set and threw his hands in the air before clicking his detonator like crazy. Suddenly, the rest of the explosives detonate and the actor flawlessly switches back into escape mode as if it were written that way. But believe it or not, it wasn't! You know who I am, I'm just a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it. So those were 10 famous movie scenes that were total accidents. And if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and turn on notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thanks for watching and remember, I just do things. Bye.